the packets that are going through your network have valuable information inside of them. And you're able to use this information to analyze a lot of details about what's happening on your network. You can find out things like bandwidth, how much of the network is really being used right now. How much of your internet connection are you using? Should you upgrade the internet connection, or is it in a perfect place right now? And what is using all of that bandwidth? Is there file transfers occurring? Is it streaming media? Be nice to get more information about exactly what's using all of that bandwidth. Other people on the network might be concerned about response times. You want to be sure that your mission critical applications are performing at peak efficiency. The packets going over your network can tell you a lot about the performance of your applications. If the network slows down, the details will be inside of those packets. By gathering all of this information over a long period of time, you can now start to trend what might be happening on your network and perhaps even predict the future of where things are happening. If you notice that the amount of traffic on your network is creeping up higher and higher, you may be able to build a line that says, in the next six months, we're OK for bandwidth, but then we're going to start tapping out our resources. So now you can start budgeting and applying your money to the places where it makes sense to upgrade circuits or change how you're using the network so that all of your mission critical applications will continue to work properly. One of the keys to traffic analysis is you have to see the traffic. You have to gather the package yourself and determine what's going on, or you need to query a device that has already gathered the packets and created metadata for you. If you're looking at a packet analyzer, you're sitting in the link itself, and you're watching all of the raw packets as they're streaming by. And you're either storing the raw data. Some people gather every packet and store them in a very large database, a bunch of hard drives like the device here. Or maybe you're just storing metadata. You're you're gathering statistics of what you see going by, and you're simply saving the statistics. The raw data, it continues to flow. We're not going to store that, but we will have a summary of the data that we saw go by. Some devices have the ability to gather statistics for us. We've seen SNMP and how it can be used to gather statistics. There's other methodologies like Armon and NetFlow. These are standardized methods that may be built into a router or a switch or another device on your network that has the capability to gather these metrics and gather these traffic details. There are other sources as well. You might get standalone probes that are specifically created to gather stats. And you can put them all over your network, distribute them out to other sites, and you can query those remotely. Sometimes you can gather a lot of statistics about traffic right from the logs of a server or a workstation. So all of these different data points may become very valuable for you to understand exactly the type of traffic going over your network. Once you have that data, you can really start compiling a lot of interesting statistics. Some of them might be at a very low level. Maybe you just want to see utilization. Perhaps you just want to see if there are any errors over your wide area network link. These are very basic statistics. They tell you about the fundamental performance of a particular link. And these types of statistics can help you see if there might be some type of lower level or foundational problem with the communication between a couple of connections. You might also want to look at flow information. NetFlow and other types of flow-based monitoring can tell us about TCP response time. We can understand what ports might be in use. We can see what types of applications might be transferring information over those particular port numbers. A lot of detail can come right from the packets. You also may be able to get details about the way applications are performing. You can see application response times. Perhaps you'd like to understand the types of applications that people are using on the network. Sometimes you can get very detailed views, sub-application views. You may be able to see that somebody was using Google, but they might also be using Google Mail. They might be using Google Plus. They might be using some other Google features as well. And by having these types of network analysis devices and traffic analysis devices, we can really get a lot of detail about what's going across our networks.